So um, thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to talk a little bit of uh, Phydra. Phydra is a repository system based on Fedora. And I'd like to give you a short overview of the history, uh, what's, what we have done here at uh, the University of Vienna. And uh, also what we are planning and how would this go further. So uh, just have to check. Yes, so that, that works. So uh, basically the pro that was born in a project, uh, Phydra, this goes back to the year 2007, where the University of Vienna uh, wanted to have a home for digital objects. And uh, there come two uh, departments together. That was the library and the Center for Teaching and Learning. Both has the objects. They wanted to stir something uh, somewhere. And they have gone to the computer center and asked them, uh, do they know some kind of system where we can uh, do this? And they made a quick research and say, we have some ideas, but uh, we need to have a project. And this project will, what was funded by the rectorate. It was a three year project and there have been done three things in these three years. First, to build a system where, so to build this house. Uh, second is uh, to define the services uh, around this house. So, uh, so you can store uh, the stuff and you can get the stuff out again. And uh, third, of course, because this was the main question is to bring the stuff in the house. So uh, Phaedra was from the beginning on uh, always seen as a system which is not only the repository itself, but also the services around the repository. And this was, uh, this happened all over the whole history till now, that both are very close. We see are both very close coming together. So it goes a little bit beyond a normal repository. Uh, that was the first question is what, uh, what we'll take. And uh, this we, we took Fedora and we built uh, a user interface and some kind of middleware where with the user interface can exchange the, uh, the information with Fedora. And this was a very um, fast development because in one year we already have version one up and running and uh, so because we needed to implement the services and also to bring all the stuff in was already in, uh, here in place. So uh, what we did is, is to have this, the first version. It was very, uh, it was built very fast. And then we show it to the world what we happen, uh, what we have. And uh, then other institutions were interested in the, in the work, what we have done. And uh, we built around this repository uh, also a community. Uh, so colleagues from Italy were interested, other colleagues from, uh, from Austria were interested in the Western Balkan. So we have some funded projects also around where we uh, then spread out our repository system into uh, the neighborhood of Austria. And then we run into some problems because it was built very fast and it was only built for the purpose of the University of Vienna. So that's why we also have to rebuild and change the architecture itself. And uh, because uh, there, the need were a little bit different uh, in other institutions than we had the need in, 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 Aust uh, in Vienna. That's uh, that's normal, but this is what what did, this wasn't very the uh, what it wasn't the focus in the very beginning of this project. So this was what we have changed over time, and so now we are in a stage where we can grow easily and where we can also bring uh, Phaedra uh, to other institutions uh, very easy. The second thing is that uh, we also focused a lot on services. So uh, this is what it goes beyond of a normal repository because we always including all the services around of data management inside of the thinking of Phaedra. 
So uh, we have this box in the middle. This box is where we, all the stuff is stored. So this is the house when you uh, see it in, uh, from the first slide. And these services come around. So there are questions of the uh, technical questions and non-technical questions. There are questions about legal issues. And also these services are what we bring to our uh, partners and what always discuss with our partners. This doesn't mean that we do everything also for our partners, but we have a kind of uh, common ground where we discuss and develop also services around FEDRA and how we can improve also the services in, in the way of data management. So uh, for these uh, both uh, problems, the, uh, the, the architecture, the technical problem uh, not, and the, the service problem, we needed to find solutions so that we can scale up over the time. Uh, when we go to the technical te when we go to the technical side, we change the architecture from a one monolithic uh, software architecture to a more uh, modular uh, architecture. So we have now in the center uh, Fedora, and uh, we talk uh, with the, the uh, with the center with what we call Fedora uh, Fedora Core. So this is the middleware where everything uh, is is kept together. This is the Fedora Core, and around of this Fedora Core we have something where we can put in plugins. This plugins is very uh, integrated into the Fedora core. It's something like a, big, uh, a book viewer or something like um, an image viewer tool. This is really uh, very close to, to the core. And then we have a, a rich uh, API. So. Now our strategic focus is also to work on the API and uh, so that in, from this API you can do everything what, uh, with the Fedora core also with the user interface. So the machine, a machine can do the same thing like a human. Uh, we are focusing now on, on uh, everything is machine actionable, what we have inside of the repository. And so that gives us the possibility to create docked applications. The dock on uh, Phaedra and can do uh, everything uh, with the objects inside of uh, Phaedra. This also moves in some cases Phaedra also back to a backend system uh, because you, it's also possible to uh, develop more specific for one topic or one project specific interfaces, user interfaces, uh, or you can have only machine actionable uh, stuff there you, with this docked application or you generate workflows. Uh, so this gives us a lot of flexibility when we are working with other research projects. This brings us uh, also. This brings us to to the to the to the services. How we think the services, and uh, because also this we need to scale up. The University of Vienna is a large university, and we have a lot of researchers and a lot of research projects. For these, we developed a four-phase workflow model. And on uh, this model, there is uh, defined a, a way where we hand up, uh, hand over the data from the researchers. So where the, the data, uh, where the data has been born and where the data are in a way of, of, of uh, selected, which comes to a repository, which come to archiving. Uh, this is in the phase two, in the interest phase. In this phase, there is a handover. We do technical and non-technical data co uh, conversion. So the technical, we look at the, at the formats they are using and uh, look if it's possible or if it's good to, for long-term archiving. The non-technical is all the described, uh, description of metadata 
this is all the, uh, the things with uh, clearing their legal issues. Then it comes to, to the repository system. So it comes to Phaedra. And from there, uh, we have a mechanism where, we can, where you can access. So your people, persons and machines can access. And this is the another handover. Then there is this reuse. This is this phase four. So this is now the situation what we have in place uh, on both sides, a very modular, uh, mo modular system. And uh, this is where we, it's possible to, to, to scale out on both ways, to implement more services on each of this phase and also to implement more, uh, more applications and more uh, things on the technical side. So we have now the focus on, on Phaedra or when we look at our university, it is a kind of institutional repository. So we need to see it as a system which is uh, highly integrated in, in the university. And the, the question is uh, what we are focusing about when it comes to research data management and the research data, we will focus here on the long tail. We don't see the head there where we have this big data, where we have very specified uh, repository. This is also what we are doing in our training. Uh, tell our researcher, if you have some kind of domain specific uh, repository, which, are which you will be served well, go there. We will focus on this kind of stuff where uh, they have no place to put in. So more or less this, this kind of long tail. And for these, we need to scale all the services, what we have and all the different requirements, because there is a lot of different requirement, requirements inside of this long tail. And for these, uh, we, we also ha have to add uh, more uh, additional applications around our ecosystem. So included uh, to our ecosystem. And so we see this now in a way of very complex uh, ecosystem where we can place different repositories. So we are, don't uh, see it as one repository which can serve everything. So that's why also we see this API very important because each repository systems should also uh, be able to talk to each other. And uh, from this way, we have to include also uh, visualization tools like uh, streaming of video, streaming of audio files. Uh, we have something where we can process uh, images with uh, IIIF. Uh, we have a kind of terminological server where we have uh, terminological issues which came from research uh, purposes and we can integrate it in our uh, repository world. We have different kind of persistent identifier. Uh, something which will came very soon is we will get uh, data management planning tools which are machine actionable as well and this should also get integrated in our ecosystem. So this is the way how we see it in our university. And this is also what we are discussing with our partners. And this is what we are developing, uh, developing further. So uh, that's why we call it, or we see it more, uh, more than just a repository and just a repository system. Uh, this was a rough overview of our Phaedra. We have also a website. There is more of the technical parts in. So everything what we developed, it's on GitHub. You find uh, the reference for the GitHub on this uh, Phaedra.org website. And uh, if you want to get uh, more information, you get a little bit deeper inside of uh, what we do at the University of Vienna, or you want to get in contact also with some partners or see what the partners doing with Phaedra, you can contact me. The uh, email is on the slide and I will share the slides afterwards. Thank you.
Thank you very much, Raman. Uh, so again, we have a couple of minutes for uh, uh, questions uh, before our break. Uh, so if anyone has one, then please do um, uh, unmute and ask it directly or put it in the chat window. Maybe I didn't get the point, um, but I would like to know, uh, as I see you, you're still dealing with lots of uh, Fedora 3 in your GitHub repository, but does it work with uh, subsequent um, versions of Fedora 4 or 5, 6? Uh, yes, uh, so this th we, we are still on, uh, on Fedora 3. So we are one of the candidates they will migrate uh, soon. To, but we will wait till uh, version six is in place and then we will migrate to version six. Yes, we, we are a small team and we have focused in the last time, uh, in, the, in the late time more on building up services and building the system around. And that's why we are a little bit in delay from the versions, uh, from the Fedora versions. Uh, 